Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve this nice functional equations? We have an inserted domain in the functions which is 1 plus sine x and why the right hand side is cos square x. This is small of trigonometry functions. I want to find only f of x. I will solve this in two different ways. Let's get into it. So we consider solution here and here is method 1. Let's start by converting cos square x into sine x. We note that, let's say we have cos square x, so this is given as 1 minus sine squared x. And by substituting this, we have f of 1 plus sine x equals 1 minus sine squared x. So I have to convert this because the domain here is as sine x. And after getting this, we are going to recall that suppose we have to let 1 plus sine x into another letter. If I choose letter t to be equals this. So therefore we have 1 plus sine x equals t and by making t the subject of the relation here we have t equals uh rather let's say we make sine x so we're going to have t minus one equals sine x and we can also say sine x equals t minus one any one of your choice and let's replace it so by replacement we have f of one plus then sine x is this and it's given as t minus 1 equals then 1 minus sine square x. We can write sine square x as sine x raised to the power of 2. So let's write it as sine x raised to the power 2. But we have to replace sine x as well with t minus 1. Here we have plus 1 minus 1 cancelled as we have f of t equals 1 minus, so sine x is also given as t minus 1 raised to the power of 2. And we proceed by expanding t minus 1 squared. Here we have 1 minus t minus 1 squared. When we, up, when we multiply it in 2 times, we are going to have t squared minus 2t plus 1. And then we are going to open this with negative here we have 1 minus t squared plus 2t minus 1 then we have plus 1 minus 1 cancelled as we have minus t squared plus 2t everything equals f of t so this is what we got for f of t that the value we substituted so let's replace t with x. So by replacing t with x, we are going to have f of x equals minus x squared plus 2x. So this is the solution to these functions as f of x. But how can we divide this domain? It's very simple because we are given sine x which is a trigonometric function, and we know that sine x is at the, it has the ranges uh, starting from, uh, if you have sine x, so it has a ranges of, is a member of minus 1, comma 1, so that is the value find between this minus 1 and 1. Then, how can we now divide x? So x will now be a member of 0, comma 2. And how do we know that it is 0, 2? So it's just as a simple as it is as simple as when we substitute this value of x into this function of f of x. Now we test for 0. So at this equals to 0, we are going to have everything here become 0. And if this also equals 2, we also have it become 0. So no any other values again. So let's consider this as the fixed method. We are going to be solving this in another way round and see which of this method are uh, very easy to solve. If you are just coming to this channel, please do well to subscribe 
and share the videos. Let's start the second method for solving the same questions. We also start from the domain. The domain is given as 1 plus sine x. Then let's say I take the square of this. I want to expand this one. So by comparing this with a plus b raised to the power of 2. And we have to expand a plus b raised to the power of 2. So the expansion of that one gives us a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So this is for a plus b raised to the power of 2. And if our a is 1 and our b is sine x, we are going to have 1 squared plus 2 multiplied by 1 multiplied by sine x plus sine x all raised to the power of 2. And the whole of this is equals 1 plus sine x raised to the power of 2. Equals 1 squared is 1 plus 2 times 1 times sine x. This gives us 2 sine x plus we have sine x that is sine squared x. Having this is not enough. We have to try to manipulate this. We want to make everything have 1 plus sine x. Because at the other side, we have 1 minus sine square x, which is the equivalent value of cos square x. So by trying to manipulate this, suppose I change this one to, we have this as 1. So which one we can write it as 2 minus 1. So as 2 minus 1, it gives us 1. Then plus 2 sine x plus sine squared x. If I combine minus 1 with sine squared x, we are going to have it as sine squared x minus 1. Then plus, also we have 2 plus 2 sine x. And what I need here is, I need something like 1 minus sine squared x. So if I take out minus here, we change this one to 1 minus sine squared x. Then plus, let's factor out 2 here as well. We have this as 1 plus sine x. And everything here equals 1, min 1 plus sine squared x. If I make 1 minus sine squared x the subject, I will transfer it here. As we have 1 minus sine squared x equals, here we have 2 sine squared to the bracket of 1 plus sine x, and we also take minus 1 plus sine x all raised to the power 2 to this side. So positive change to negative. So that is what we have here. Then here is plus 2 into bracket of 1 plus sine x. And if we consider what we have above, we cannot change 1 minus sine square x, which is the other side, everything equivalent to cos squared x. And we'll be changing all this one to x. So therefore, the function also the same thing as what we have, which is f of x equals minus x squared plus 2x. So different methods, same questions, and the same answers. Thanks for watching. And uh, which of these two methods is easy? So see you in the next video. Never stop learning. Bye-bye.